what's up guys it is saturday it feels like sunday yesterday i went to a bunch of sales estate sales there's a couple garage sales um went to crete nebraska which is about 45 minutes away with steve and donna over at happy art treasures found a bunch of cool stuff including a set of these really cool vaseline glasses and the matching pitcher which is, my phone is actually propped up against right now I did kind of want to update you guys. I haven't been on camera in a couple days. Just haven't felt like it. But I still showed you guys what's sold. From now on, I won't be able to really show you guys everything that I'm picking up. Just because I have so much stuff going in and out of the house. You know, um, stuff I'm sourcing. And then I'm either selling it off or donating it or dollar auctioning it. Bunch of stuff. And it's just a lot to keep up with. So I'm at least going to show you guys still what's sold. But I have an exciting announcement. So I found out there was um, a antique mall that was supposed to have me start in a booth like soon. And I called them. They had told me I was like two down on the list. So pretty much like any, any day now. And I called again. And that was the owner I was talking to. Sorry, I forgot to mention that called again and they were like you're still like 15 people down on the list so I was like well like did you guys get confused with my name how did this happen you know I was you know expecting this you know to come up soon and they were just pretty much like you're SOL so I had called around some places I was really discouraged I was telling my husband how defeated I felt I'm like I just want to get in a booth I'm impatient too because I've been stockpiling stuff for the past like week now since I had found out that I was possibly getting a booth and I wanted to be prepared well it turns out it's not happening I had called a few places left my name got on some wait lists and Donna messaged me she's like hey I talked to the owner over at Timeless Treasure he was like there is a booth not a booth a case available if I wanted to take it and I decided to take it. it's gonna be $22 a month which actually is not that bad compared to the around $100 a month I was planning to spend on a booth. So we need to get ready because the owner told me to call him back on Monday and hopefully next week I will be in a case at this shop. It's not gonna be a booth, it'll be a case, which I think is a good start. Also, my nails look awful. I need to redo them. I, You guys know how I like to have nice nails and I just haven't had time. But today I've spent a lot of today listing because I've built up quite a bit of stock over the past few days just sourcing and not a lot of time to list so I've been working on that but I also need to get stuff ready for this case that I'm going to be getting so I'll be showing you guys later tonight the stuff that I am going to be putting in this case because I kind of want it to be a curated little collection I want it to be kind of like trinkets and oddities and some glass I think that's what I'm gonna start off with especially because it's in a case I can put smaller items and not worry about them getting swiped or stolen um but yeah, this is going to be an exciting journey. So I'm going to get back to listing and just chilling out. But I'll show you guys later tonight some stuff that I'm going to pull. And I've already got my dealer ID. It's going to be INKD, like inked. It's just INKD, which is cool. They said it was available, so that's awesome. And I got to basically make price tags and price some items. It's a $22 a month plus 10% commission is what they take. So... After a bit, it's not that hard. I feel like, you know, to make rent, if I have enough decently priced items, it might take a couple of items. But we'll see, guys. This is a whole new experience, and you guys are going to come along with me on this whole thing that's going to be happening. But I will talk to you guys later. Hey, guys. It's Monday. So a couple of things. I just called the antique store owner because he told me to call him today on Monday. And he said he's going to go clean out that case and give me a call. So I think that means we're moving in there today. And I'm so excited. Got everything ready. Uh, also, yesterday, crazy sales day. We sold that Vaseline glass pitcher, those cups, all to one buyer. And I ended up shipping them separately. Uh, my husband's been helping me ship, which has been kind of why I haven't been able to really show you like what's sold. Which is fine. I feel like that takes up a lot of time. And I could just kind of glance over what I've showed you guys but I do have a video idea that will show you some of the best buys but it'll be a little bit before I do that but yesterday guys we did 1.1k in sales yesterday I can't believe it 
We sold those, like the Vaseline pitcher, the Vaseline cups. We sold these Russell Wright. If you guys remember those two weird glasses I sold when I did my eight hour listing challenge, those are the same brand. And we got those from the clean out that I helped Steve and Donna with. There is actually a couple of bowls, a couple of plates that I still haven't listed, but I listed the, the two mugs just to see what would happen. I was like 200 bucks, let's see. And they sold within a few hours. So that's some serious money. In total, in one day, we made 1.1K gross. So that's, you know, not including taxes and fees and shipping and all that good stuff, cost of goods. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, but yeah, we, there hasn't been much different going on. It's just been, uh, my husband's been helping me pack, which is amazing. It's been really helping me. I do think I might try to do top rated seller or top rated plus, which means I now have to take free returns and do one day handling, which I think I might do considering if my husband does keep helping me out with shipping, I think that should be an easy adjustment. He's learning how to print labels and I'm, I'm packing everything pretty much still, but he's doing the rest of the process basically for me because packing the stuff takes so long, especially when I ship so much glass. I'm working on editing some video here while I wait for a call back from the antique store owner, but I will see you guys later. Here is what we sold today. Sold that camera for 120. Um, we sold these, uh, I was gonna say mugs, but the mugs were the other day. These are the same brand, Russell Wright Bowls for $200 and some random miscellaneous little pieces that all amount up to a decent amount of profit for today. Well, earlier I did an end and sell similar on this Disney perpetual calendar and it sold for 145, I believe. It was originally at 175 and on sale, it was actually down to like 120. So I actually made more by ending in sell similar. I don't know how to say this without coming off as like self-centered or something like that, but I just like am so grateful for the sales the past couple of days. They have been amazing and I don't I can't figure out why. I know those Russell Wright dishes are really sought after, so I get that, but like just high dollar sale after high dollar sale and I just I don't get it, but it's been awesome. And it's great because right now it's a little particularly stressful because of tax time. And um, yeah, it's just it's just amazing how stuff just seems to work out. But yeah, I'm going to get this packed in this big, big box right here. But that's all I'm going to do for tonight. And I am going to do the thing on my store where I do one day handling and free returns. So I can get that um, top rated seller plus status soon. So I'm going to start working on that. I'm going to catch you guys later. I'll see you tomorrow.